uh, at a super match in ADCC in two weeks' time, Andre Galvão, which is his teammate as well, is going to be an amazing. So he's well prepared for that. You know, he's been training really hard for this upcoming ADCC super fight, but you never know, man. Patrick Gaudio is an animal. I'm really looking forward to see this match. He's it's also a very good thermometer for Calazans, and Andre Galvão for sure is watching this match very closely. I, yeah, I'm very confident he's, he's watching this match. But not only because he has like, a lot of students here competing. Josh is under a student. Uh, who else we have from, from Atos here? Correct. But I'm sure his, his eyes is on the money right there. You know, like he, I remember he's saying, uh, man, for 40K, I would fight even my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Andre is, uh, is an icon of the sport. You know, I had the opportunity to fight him a couple of times. He's an amazing competitor. One of the, one of the most complete athletes in the game and he's right been there. he's been competing for so long and he's competed so much i think he's been one of the most active comp jiu-jitsu competitors of all time exactly very he, impressive he's fighting every every tournament worlds pan ams gi no gi he's always and a, a lot of, a lot of good him. students coming out of his gym out of san diego too so very impressive it'll be very interesting to see him and Kalazans go to war but for now we can have an amazing fight right there in front of us. Claudio Calazans and Patrick Gaudio, which is the... Uh, he, uh, also, he lost Patrick Gaudio to, to um, Andre Galvão in the finals of the world this, uh, this last year. year. That, no, this year. Yes, that's yes right. this year. World 2017, Patrick Gaudio was uh, the silver medalist, losing in a very close match against Andre Galvão. So we were well past the first minute mark here. No one pulls guard. Uh, it's looking I don't like think it will be a stand-up match. Yeah, I don't think Kalasans will ever jump guard on this. Even though he has a very um, strong uh, guard, guard game. Guard game, but also uh, snap armors from yes. standing. You know, really uh, Kalasans has a judo background, right? His father yeah. is a judo coach. His brothers are all judokas. That's, that's how he's... I mean, he trained judo far before he did jiu-jitsu. That's a penalty to each... Yeah, but Kalazan is just one of those guys he's very hard to score points on. If you look at Kalazan's track record, not many people score more than, like, I mean, scoring a point is one of the most difficult things you can do. Just, just watch his matches. Correct. Top, bottom, it doesn't matter where you are, scoring points on him is incredibly on the, difficult. On the last ADCC, when he won the, the title of the not a absolute champion, he right? wasn't not even one point scored, okay? And That's he incredible. went to an extra time in most of them. So his endurance is out of this world, and he's looking shape. Patrick looks very confident on his feet too, though. Like he's he's up for the task. Have you ever competed against Claudio? Yes, I did, and um, he, he he beat me by advantages. It was in the World Pro, in the finals of the Absolute at the World Pro uh, you, you in Abu Dhabi. Right? You pulled? Sorry? You pulled? Uh, Sorry, that was a big attempt there for Nice. Call us there with the leg attack. Hold that. Hold him down. For the guillotine. Good job getting up, the guillotine. Patrick. Is he on? He's got something. That Patrick could something still come out of this score position. those points. The guillotine is on, it's on, it's on. That guillotine is on, oh, oh, nice. He's got to hold him down. Score those points. What a gotta escape hold down. from Patrick Gaudio. He's right on the leg drag for the foot lock. Nice on the toe hold. Heel hook attempt. Nice heel hook attempt there by Patrick. Yeah, Claudio's got to stay sharp, man. What exchange. Is a heel hook on? Now he's going for also a heel hook on the 50-50 right there. Patrick already positioned uh, the angle, so he's not giving the pressure on the heel. He's doing good. Amazing exchange out here. Foot locks yeah, exchanging. Free. Let's see what's going to happen here. game for both competitors. Both of them going for toe holds. Both of them fighting for the foot lock. They both stuck.
but none of them is, is, is showing that nothing's on. They both stuck. All the corners is screaming. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the round. It's a good, very even match. Even round. It does a 10-10. This is the second round between Patrick Gaudio and Claudio Calazans. Both athletes just studying each other. Patrick known for his footlocks. Brother, that was a brutal footlock when Patrick fought Romulo Bajau in the Worlds. That was insane. Do you guys see that? It was against Romulo? Yeah. It was Pat Patrick yeah. that took it off? Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I, I thought he fought... Uh, Oh, correct. That was against the Romulo, right? Yeah, yeah, I was mixing yeah. with um, uh, with Felipe Pena. Sure, yeah. That was crazy. He took the uh, Romulo's foot out of place. That was crazy. And you know what's the most crazy thing? Mm. Romulo is fighting the ADC in two weeks' time. Dude, Romulo's... I, I've, I've, guy, seen, I've seen Romulo step off the mat with like a broken foot a few times in my life. He's just one of those guys who just he just comes doesn't back. Yeah. He doesn't tap. And I, I respect that at the same time. I just don't want it to be my foot. I don't want to be my foot either. <laughs> But he seems just to recover so fast. I think we should. He should get the the, the cyborg surname, yeah, <laughs> uh, nickname, or just Wolverine. How about that? <laughs> Correct. He doesn't have enough beard for that. <laughs> <laughs> you could. I don't know, man. I'm, my recovery skills, my uh, you know, <laughs> my ability is not quite there. It's getting worse every day. So both fighters still in the same game. That's going to be another penalty for each of them. They still stuck for the same place. So that's second penalty of each of them. So basically now, from now on, any penalty is going to be deducting one point of the round. And the fifth one will cause them both to be disqualified if they are both uh, don't do something within the next this end of second round and um, you know third round. They could potentially both be disqualified. Correct. Still, that would half, mean even that half of the second round. we are going to have Arnaldo moving straight into the final. Yeah. I bet Arnaldo is hoping for that. Both fighters being very patient. If they carry on this way, they're going to get another penalty each. Yeah, if I were either one of their, co uh, either one of their coaches, I would be telling them to really step it up and avoid that third penalty. That's one of the things, you know, like imagine you get uh, your very, very first match with one of the toughest of the division. This is pretty tough, you know. It's, it, it, it can cause uh, a different direction on, on the rest of the of the tournament. Correct. There's another, uh, there's the, another the third penalty, one. the third, so both of them took one point out of the of the round. So it's 9-9 nine, nine so far. I haven't seen a whole bunch of takedown attempts by either one. You're right, bro. They only got really dynamic and exciting when beginning of the, the, the towards the end of the first round when they're attacking each other's feet. When they went to the ground. I can see uh, Kalazan's respect. Nice. Oh, it was a good Patrick position. with the takedown. Got a good hold. Down. Got a hold. Kalazan's with the scramble. That's two points. Beautiful. Wow, what a double very leg. Very good takedown, very fast, very powerful. Kalazan's uh, not expecting that. Kalazan's even tried to do the guillotine again to save the points, but it, it wasn't was fast. there. Yeah, he was too deep into that shot. Good for Patrick. That is the reigning ADCC Open Class Champion right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's two points for Patrick Gaudio on the second round. We can good make the whole difference in the match. I don't, you don't see Kalazan get taken down very often. You don't see it? I've never Not seen Not that I think about it. I don't think I've ever seen him taken down. And I've, I remember him watching him stand up with Roger Gracie. And he was, hey, he was standing there like Roger couldn't take him down. It went on for a while, Roger right? also took him down. No, he took Roger down. That's insane. With a big cup hip. So. Speaking of Roger, bro, you know he's a good friend of yours. You trained with him extensively. What do you think of that Bushisha match? Well, you know, that's a clash of uh, generations, you know. Um, I see uh, Roger... 
uh, a very experienced fighter. I consider him one of the best, uh, the best of all times myself. Yeah, I, I, I train with him, and uh, the problem with Roger is his game is based on not letting you start anything. So it doesn't matter what you're good at. If he cannot start he something, you, 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 you cannot de de deliver. And um, that's what happened. If you if you notice in the fight, when Roger Jump pulled guard, he secured Bruchesha's left hand from the beginning to the end, you know? And uh, he didn't let it go, he even swap hands at, at a point. But if Bushesha could free that hand, he could be a little bit of a, a danger. But Bushesha tried to go for a knee bar when he had the hand locked, and that's what cost the match, because he had to when, give when, this when to I, the back. When I lost the final world to Roger, it's exactly how he swept me, too. You put that knee in the middle between his closed guard, and you think you got him, right? Exactly. I'm gonna open his guard. That's what he wants. Exactly. That's how he gets you off balance. And his legs are he, so long. He capitalized on that grip from the beginning and never let it go until the, the grip, uh, the, grip the, the left hand went to the collar. Nice. Cla Claudio pulled in guard. He knows he's turned it on now. Yeah, look, now we're going to see the best of Jiu Jitsu of yes. Calazans because he's, one, he's you know, a very talented guy, was, but he always was, opened up on the, when, he had, to, when he, he had to put a, 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 the fight on. You know, he's very technical. That's the best times we see Calazans on, on, on Jiu Jitsu is when he's under pressure. Yeah, that's going to be the best Calazans right there. And he's going to lose the second round, it's looking like. And third round, he's really got to gotta pull something off. One thing that Kalazans is very good at, he plays the role. And he really plays an advantage in most of his fights. He just gets very, it seems like he's very close, but he's all under control. And every time that he being under pressure, he always delivers submissions. He always delivers good executions so of techniques. So you know he has that jujitsu. He just chooses to be conservative. Why but risk myself in the first match, right? When I got two more to go. Exactly. Yeah. You know. But that's the thing. Now we he has the second chance on the third round, and that's I really want to see what's going to bring it to that. I'm sure 100 percent he's going to bring this fight to the ground. He's going to be relentless trying to submit or sweep Gaudi and get that big lead of the seven points in the last round. End of round two. Bro, are you going to be there? Sorry? Are you going to be there? No, I, I will be there for the, watching the final 100%. Yeah. I cannot miss that. Maybe. Yeah, me as well. See, Calazan's already a little bit more aggressive. Look, he's going to, he wants it. He wants nice. it. Nice. He wants it. Now we're going to see some good wrestling from Calazan's and Patrick Gaudio. <laughs> And the thing is, Pacho is going for the fight. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes the best defense is offense, man. Like, I don't like the guys that, you know, when they're winning, they get too defensive. I think that can backfire. I would rather be the guy who, I wouldn't open myself up too much, but I'd still be attacking. I wouldn't be a sitting target. And I think Patrick is smart enough to understand that if he becomes a sitting target for Claudio, he will get taken down eventually. I'm sure if Kalazans cannot take him down, he will jump guard so, to make the game go to the ground. I agree. So one minute, Mark is gone. Let's see if he's going to do it. Nice body lock attempt there by Patrick. Claudio getting aggressive there with wrestling. He has three minutes and 45 seconds. Nice head snap. Well, that was a good position for Kalazans. That was a mistake for Claudio, you know? Yes, Kalazans dragging him to the ground. He's holding really tight that grip. He doesn't want to let that go. And he can pull guard if he needs to without getting no point losses. Patrick Loud is really holding Kalazan's hand to defend that. That's him. Claudio with the guilty nothing attempt. Happened, That's nothing nothing. happened. No points. Zero, zero. Claudio just being sure. He's worried about the two submission on attempt. Him. So. Yeah, they're going to count that. So if Claudio scores the points, that submission attempt is going to count. Good point, Claudio. Right. You see, I thought he was set up that leg attack there for a second. It's so hard. See, like, he, 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 he gives Claudio no nothing. Like, see, Claudio trying to reach, get underneath his leg. One thing that was him absolutely a really good position by Patrick Gaudio. Very good attempt to take the back over there. Well moved by Calazans. Is he going to capitalize on that sweep? He's going to go for the calf lock over there. This calf lock is really good to control to be able to apply this sweep. Yes. 
Um, Patrick seems pretty comfortable there, though. He's not worried. I can see Claudio going transition with 50-50 if you wanted to. Claudio just seems very relaxed. If you remember, toe hold seems to be his specialty. So He's really good at it. Yeah. He's really strong grips. Uh, Roberts, it's so hard to play behind on the no gi scenario because it's yeah. so slippery, it's so hard to be defended. But you know what? Patrick Gaudi is going and exposing himself. He's not holding back. No. no and like I said, I think he understands that if he becomes a target for Claudio, it's going to go bad for him eventually. He's got to attack him and kind of keep Claudio on his tippy toes, keep him busy, make sure that Claudio does not like get too comfortable in the fat and fight and attack him too much. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely moving a lot more. But the thing, you know what's happening? You cannot go straight to the point. Because if you go straight to the point, it's going to be completely blocked. Because Claudio, sorry, uh, Gaudio, he's waiting for anything that he does. So he needs to always kind of dive, deceive the uh, Kalazan, uh, Patrick Gaudio to, to be able to achieve something. He cannot go straight to the point. So Kalazan needs to be careful. Because if Cla uh, Patrick Gaudio keep plays on the, on the defense, he can get some submission out of it or any point, something like that. Yeah, Patrick's got to be sharp here because like Kalazan's going to be very aggressive to this, this last minute. Like, um, when you open up too much, you expose yourself like Marshall Andre and Adibi. Adibi had to go for a kill and expose himself and, you know, Marshall Andre could get the pass, you know. Calf lock for Kalazan to approach to go for the... Claudio looks very good. Oh, this could be a sweep. And a heel hook. If 50 seconds yeah, to go. Claudio, Patrick getting off balance there. This could be really bad. He's got 45 seconds. Claudio knows he's got very little time to work. He knows that if he can pull off that sweep, he could win this fight. Uh, Patrick Gaud is feeling very comfortable out there. Very comfortable. He has the lead. He can even give the points for two points and still win the fight. Really hard no game. Really hard no game to keep up. Kalazan is showing a little bit of frustration out there. Patrick Gaudi just like, reacting on... It's so hard now. It's desperation now. See, straight to the point is a block. Straight to the point is a block. See, straight to the point is a block. You've got to... Nothing. You've wow. got to do something before the... What you want. Wow, what a win for Patrick Gaudi. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, winner by points, your winner is Patrick Cow!